Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Gemini, I'm bringing this to you on the day of the full moon in Capricorn. I did a reading for that. So if you missed it, not too late to catch that. Um, yeah, I'm going to pull from Soul Helper Oracle to activate the reading. Welcome cross watchers. If you're new to the channel, come in the comments, say hi, let me know where you're from. Here we go. A wonderful surprise is coming. Card 27. Uh, something entirely new awaits you. That is lovely. Um, really great energy because, yeah, the full moon is about release, right? Something coming to culmination usually means well, we're beginning something new. We're going to kind of reset. Um, so that's exciting. A wonderful surprise. Little Leo in the background there has been a terror this morning, so we'll see if he behaves. His ears are back, which usually means no. Um, but if you see me sort of fade out and fade in, um, it will only be to remove him from the premises. Okay, so here we go. Let me pull the spread. I'll give you my general impressions. We'll get details from the clarifiers. The overall energy, hmm, little disappointment, unhappiness, four of cups, perhaps some disenchantment. Sure, you're both really kind of miserable at present. Um, yes, there might have been um, a bit of un unstable ground between you. And it feels like it's still reverberating a little bit. So in this spread, top row is your person. You're in the second row. Third row is the connection, past, present, future. Okay, so your person has some regrets here um, that may be contributing to both, both of you being a bit miserable without each other. Though presently, they're a little bit more optimistic. Ten of cups. And look at the near future for this person four of wands um yeah everything can come through reverse that's fine especially if you're here as a cross watcher so keep that in mind but the focus is on the happiness and this connection and that it's sort of a bridge to something well <laughs> something new um but the beginnings of things tens are usually completion i know but when you look at the Ten of Cups, it's aspirational in terms of emotional fulfillment, completion, bliss, nirvana, happiness. That's why we call it the happily ever after card. Now, for you in the past, yeah, this um, tower energy. So your person with the Five of Cups, you with the tower, they're kind of regretting it. Um, and the connection, lots of confusion, emotional overwhelm maybe mixed messages who knows so something happened where you are right now with the seven of swords i sort of feel like whatever it is that happened and 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 was clearly not sustainable for the long haul is perceived by you as being either deceitful or shady um and yet we have in the connection an opportunity to kind of yeah the exciting newness of it all of maybe reigniting the torch of passion here so I feel like you're still moving through a process, but you're gonna get to where you need to go because in the future, it's all about the 10 of Pentacles. So the four of wands is sort of like the marriage ceremony and the 10 of Pentacles is building the life together. So that seems pretty optimistic. And for um, the connection in the future, we have clearing up any misunderstandings, speaking our truths um, and, and the sense of urgency that comes with that. So. I will clarify what I feel needs clarification, and not everything will. Uh, Four of Cups, let's clarify that. Look at that little monkey back there. He's a pip. So I think whatever has happened here has found you sort of on your own feeling right a little maybe jilted rejected the two of wands is sort of you contemplating the path forward okay now what what's next two of pentacles a little bit uncertain leo i i will play with you later my love but right now is gemini's turn so 
be be nice you have to learn to share the two of pentacles may find you being feeling torn right now about the path forward for the connection um your person here five of cups to the ten of cups knight of cups the hermit ace of wands so whatever has happened here and it's going to be different for all of you because it's a general reading not a private reading Whatever has happened, I feel like this person's gained some wisdom out of it. So uh, again, with the Ace of Wands is coming, is prominent. Um, I feel like they're inspired. They're coming towards you with some romance, with maybe a little more emotional of, uh, of vulnerability and availability than, than was on hand before. So that's good. I'm going to continue with this person because it seems like the shift is pretty monumental. Ten of Cups to the Four of Wands. Seven of Pentacles, right? That Ten of Cups, the happily ever after, takes time, um, right? But it's like, uh, it's something that unfolds more organically. It feels like that's something that this person is uh, feeling very confident, like they have a sense of mastery to allow that to proceed. And it almost feels like it's an aha. It's a little bit of an epiphany that they want a future with you, that that's where this is going and how things are growing, right? Like, aha, that's the Ace of Swords. Oh, I see this clearly now. Um, so whatever happened um, likely got their attention whatever the tower was for you and you're still nursing some wounds of disappointment and feelings of rejection or whatever it is and you're in this decision making mode they've learned something they've grown from it and that that is really a big shift for this person so for you my loves let's see the tower to the seven of swords Four of Cups. I love me some Gemini honesty, man. There you are. Y'all come in and I don't get a lot of views for, for my Gemini readings for whatever reason. I don't know. But those of you who do watch, like your energy is what I'm picking up on. Like nothing to hide. Here, let me just pour it all out to you, Laura. Um, yeah, so worlds collide, crash, boom. The love of my life rejected me, did not choose me, either chose someone else or perhaps said they were going to do a thing, didn't do the thing, pulled the rug out from under me, leaves me feeling rejected, unhappy, disenchanted, disillusioned even. Yeah. So that's some shit right there. And you, you've been feeling it. This is past to present, so, and it hasn't gone away, and it feels like it was a little shady for sure. Excuse me. Hey. Nope. No. Don't give me your cute little... Um, I'm just trying to play, Mom. No. Mm -mm. You should see the face. Yeah. Well, come on up here. Come on. Come say hi. Let's go pull this Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Sorry. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. <laughs> Le devil. All right. Okay. So in the near future, you're going to be trying to get to the truth of the matter here. Um, it, it, you may be feeling that like something shady here, but the truth of the situation may be the truth of the situation. What you may come to find is that your person is more avoidant personality, right? The nine of cups tends to have some um, qualities of um, complacency, right? Like, uh, yeah, things are good. Can't we just leave things as they are? And so they tend to avoid taking the next step or um, up leveling a, a relationship that's been going along a certain way for a certain amount of time. And it makes sense that we, that we who are more evolved say, well, 
you know, where are we going here? <laughs> what's, what's the plan, Stan? And to have somebody say, well, you know, I think things are pretty good the way they are. And that can be very disenchanting and leave us feeling rejected and, and kind of come as a surprise sometimes. So it could be that the Seven of Swords for some of you is not about anything duplicitous. It could just be that this person has been largely avoidant and kind of tries to escape the situation when there's talk about the future or talk about um, exclusivity or talk about, you know, um, uh, slapping a label on a relationship. It, it could be any number of things. When it comes to the future for you, it's almost as if your, your questions, because she's a truth seeker and a truth teller, is like, are you afraid of commitment, <laughs> right? Are you just complacent and coming from fear? Are you con controlling, manipulative? What is the deal here? So I don't think that devil belongs to you. I think because of the queen of swords coming through from your unconscious awareness, that will be your question. That's what you're gonna be trying to sort out and make sure you understand and get clarity around. Knight of swords, right? So. I, I don't think of this situation as being toxic for everyone, but certainly being something that is not sustainable for the long haul because somebody here has been avoiding, by all means necessary, the topic of the long haul. So that has caused a lot of confusion. Um, so let's look at the Seven of Cups to the present, which is the Ace of Wands. Three of Pentacles, Five of Wands. So no cooperation, lots of conflict, right? Mixed messages. Oh yeah, I want what you want, but then they're not cooperative about it. I feel like you've been as patient as you can be in this connection. And maybe on some level, there's now we're because of that, because of that ener energy of self-control and restraint, almost like you've been living in your sadness and keeping that to yourself to some degree and, um, in, and staying in that energy of trying to go with the flow and stay, you know, positive to the best you can. If you notice temperance has one foot on the ground, so stays, you know, solid and and balanced, right, grounded, and one foot in their feelings. So they don't get unmoored by the emotional upheaval. And I feel it's that aspect of whatever you've brought to the party here that is leading to a revival, a renewal, um, a, a, a new um, um, phase of inspired passion here. So, all hope is not lost, my dear beloved Geminis, but it has been a bumpy ride. So let's go from the Ace of Wands to the Knight of Swords. Yes, Knight of Wands, King of Wands, all the passion, Five of Pentacles, extra card on the Knight of Swords. Four, there we go. Okay, so now you see we come full circle and it feels like we're, we're, we're making a pretty big shift here, present energy. And I'm just gonna make mention that as I record this, Mercury is in his pre-retrograde shadow phase. So he, his retrograde actually, he turns around on August 5th. But the first few weeks leading up to that are like the opening act, it's everything we need to know. It tells us the story of where we're gonna hit the bumpy energy. So that began on the 17th of July and it's now the 21st. So we're already in the process of seeing what we're gonna kinda of have to go back over when he turns around, then he turns around again and goes back over it a third time. So what I'm seeing here is positive is some renewal, is some action, is some, um, yes, I want this connection instead of avoiding. Um, and underneath the five of pentacles, which has been you feeling sort of rejected, um, 
and dis, 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 uh, devalued, right? Like, do I not mean enough to this person? They're avoiding all these conversations or they're avoiding getting together or whatever that's about, or they're saying one thing, doing another, or they said a thing and then they took it back and ripped the ground out from under. Do you see what I'm saying? Whatever it is for you, I feel it left you in a place of feeling very rejected and abandoned and devalued. That gets cleaned up because you know what's most important? The connection. Oh, hell yeah, I want this. I want what you want. So I feel that there may be some misunderstandings from the past, but then again, maybe no misunderstandings, but maybe a wake-up call for this person. Um, so all this wands energy, king of wands, no hesitation. The difference between this king and this knight is the knight is a bit more impulsive in terms of not having something else in mind, so tends to kind of go in and out. But the king backing him up is like, no, the king's like, I know what I want and I'm claiming it and it's mine and let's do this. So I feel you've got all the best of all worlds here in your connection coming from your shared passion, that ace, and sort of leaving this in the dust. Although, um, interestingly enough, because you are going to have this two of pentacles, like, I don't know, I'm torn, I'm on the fence, I'm not sure about the path forward because of how bad this, you know, you've been feeling, how rejected, how abandoned, how devalued, um, how shut out, how closed off, how rejected. But I feel like this person's going to come in and try to make, make it all clear to you. Um, and the connection has potential to get back on track, provided you get to the truth of the matter around this person's fears, complacencies, manipulations, control issues, blah, 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 blah. So that's what I have for you. And of course, as you know, I'm gonna give you an extended version for those of you that are like, that's my story. Um, and we're gonna look further into this person so that we get the inner workings of really how they feel about you. That's really what we're gonna look at and sort of what they're up to behind the scenes and their intentions, etc. Um, I'm going to give you the astrology next, but before I do that, please, if you have been liking my readings, if this one is the first one you've ever watched and you thought it was helpful or insightful or you like my style, subscribe below, <laughs> okay? Help me build the channel. Um, it's been five years, guys. I've been at this five years. Yeah, as of two days ago. And it's getting harder, actually, not easier. Yeah. Um, algorithms change and the platform puts its attention on other things and those of us who are growing slow and steady don't necessarily win the race so I really need your help that is my ask that's it subscribe like share if you feel called to do so okay there are links in the description box below that will take you to the extended and you have three options they're numbered check them out here we go um, Nine of Pentacles is Virgo energy. Knight of Cups, Pisces. More Virgo in the Hermit. More Virgo and Gemini in the Magician, because that's Mercury, which is in his pre-shadow, right, pre-retrograde um, shadow phase. We have uh, Mars is, uh, the Tower is Mars, which rules Aries. Gemini in the Lover's card, but of course, the devil is Capricorn and Queen of Swords is Libra. Nice and balanced. The uh, Temperance card is Sagittarian energy, as is the Knight of Wands. The King of Wands is Leo, the Knight of Swords, but of course, is Gemini. So that's what I have for you. And yeah, a wonderful surprise is coming. Who knew? I'm headed to the extended. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.